Caribbean people, many of us migrate to forge something better. But embarking on that journey, we're also leaving a huge part of who we are behind. Yes, we are. We're leaving our beautiful Caribbean people, our cultures, traditions, white sand, sunny beaches, the smell of that fresh Caribbean breeze, and not to mention those delicious island cuisines. And we're forever longing for a taste of home, a taste of that culture, because something is always calling us. Here in Atlanta today, we're gonna answer that call. We're gonna connect a piece of our Caribbean heritage. And reconnect with the people, culture, and taste of the Caribbean. So today, we're gonna have a beautiful and delicious fusion of America meets the Caribbean. On this episode of the Caribbean Network. <laughs> Welcome to the Caribbean Network, where we highlight Caribbean-owned businesses here in the metro Atlanta area. We've partnered with Carib Lingo Clothing to bring you today's episode. Today, we're actually here with the chef, food architect, and innovator behind No Meat Eats, Chris. How you doing, sir? Doing great. Good? Yes. Yes, man. You? Good, man. Good. This is the Caribbean Network, man. You understand? So let me ask you a question. Tell our viewers a little bit about your roots mm -hmm. and what inspired you to become and take that role of an entrepreneur. Okay, so growing up in Jamaica, um, as you know, food is a very important part of our culture. Yes, yes. So, you know, um, it, 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 it was easy to actually follow this path. Right. Love food. As a Jamaican, you're going to love food too. <laughs> and um, getting into this direction as far as um, what I'm doing with food is is based on you know life choices mm -hmm. so um, you know I, I wanted to create stuff that I like right and you know I love nothing more than my Caribbean food ah uh, proper okay so <laughs> I wanted to tailor my food based on my lifestyle okay and so there comes the creativity there comes the all the different ideas popping in yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and we created no meat eats out of, out of this. Now, it's, it's just like a, an idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a little mm -hmm. idea, hey, you're making all these different foods, you yeah. know, the way you're making it, and it tastes really good. Well, why not have a, start a business? And I'm like, yeah. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, 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 definitely. So that's, that's where that came about. And um, the Jamaican influence is, like I said, it's extremely heavy mm -hmm. on the taste, yes. the flavor. Yes. That's what I'm trying to get out. That's what I'm trying to sell. That's what I'm trying to have everyone experience as far as the jerks is, is concerned. Got it, okay. got it. Okay, cool, cool. So Chris, you pushed the boundaries and went beyond what is considered traditional Caribbean cooking. Yes. So what can you tell us about your food creation and your inspiration behind using plant-based products? Okay, so we'll start off by saying that I started to explore um, veganism um, a couple of years ago. Um, by doing that, I, there, there was nothing out there for me to eat. Oh yeah. Nothing out there. Oh, definitely. So, hence I had to become extremely creative. And it, it took a lot of thought to, to come up with all of these things. So, what I started to do is veganizing different things that I like. So, you know, I started basic with curry. Curry is such a, a staple. I mm. loved curry chicken oh, yeah. growing up. That <laughs> was something that, you know, when mom made that, you would, that would definitely make sure you yeah. clean the plate. Oh, mm. yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so, with that being said, mm -hmm. you know, I, I went in the direction of, all right, so, all right, let me, let me try to make some curry stuff. So, 
being influenced by Dr. Sebi, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that, that kind of set the tone for my, for my inspiration. And, 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 and so it, it, it had me choosing specific vegetables and, 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 and beans and, and so forth yeah. to create my meals. So chickpeas is a big staple. So I'll go ahead and, and create my chickpeas, just like how you do the curry chicken. Yes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. The same seasoning, the same spices. And you know you, you you add in your potatoes the same way, and, mm -hmm. and you get your your curry chickpeas, and then you go along with okay, I'm, I want to make some rice, but I don't want rice, so you go with some quinoa. You, you, so you now I have a whole meal. I have my my rice version, which mm -hmm. is quinoa, mm -hmm. and I have my chicken, which is the curry chickpeas, and I have my meal. So these are some of the little things that actually inspired me to to keep going. And, and just saying that is just an example. Of, yeah, yeah. Of, of um of where I got my inspiration from. Okay. I, I like how you touch on that, um, the veganism thing, because it gives us as West Indian people, as Caribbean people, to kind of think outside that box yes. and not just have the same staple and same type of food every single time. And with your creation, ooh, boy, I can't wait. <laughs> I hope we get a little something later. <laughs> so Chris, yes, I mean, we all being from the Caribbean, I know everyone who's West Indian actually here growing up that food is necessary for a great relationship you know what i mean me growing up you know what i mean i used to look forward to my aunts my grandmother my mother certain certain foods that they make i was excited about it who in your family influenced you like that like you, you'll be looking forward for that type of food i can't wait for granny cooking i can't wait for mommy cooking auntie cooking like who which 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 um family member influence you like that and what specific meal all right so my family <clears throat> there's a plethora of cooks in my family um of course you know nothing like mommy's cooking oh yeah oh, definitely. <laughs> um, but uh, my dad would cook too okay um but only specific meals right, you know, right my dad right. would make a, 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 a delicious fried rice i don't know how dad comes up with that but <laughs> he would make a delicious fried rice jamaican style um but it was delicious mm. um, but my mom would always her cooking was just what stood out and she had a, a, a a variety of different meals that I enjoy. Okay. Her rice and peas and chicken. <laughs> and, and your chicken chop soup. Right, you're right. talking about Ooh. curry chicken, stew peas. Oh. All of these were favorites of mine yeah. that, that she would make growing up. And you know, when dinner time comes, this is what I would definitely want to partake of. You know, um I went up further to 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 actually my aunt would actually Cook just the same. Aunt, yes, Aunt yes. Lizzie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aunt Lizzie was an inspiration. Big up Aunt Lizzie. <laughs> Her creativity mm -hmm. is, is what I draw to every time I try to, to make something because she would always put different things together. Okay, and okay. Come up with different stuff and out, just out, out, always outside of the box. Oh, always nice. Always out nice, of the box. Nice. So that that was also a heavy inspiration with. With what I'm doing right now, with, with, with you know what I'm focusing on as far as Romy eats, you know, so yeah, that, that's that. Those are the family members. Okay, okay. okay. I'm hungry, so <laughs> I heard you're gonna make something special for us today. Yes, we're going outside of the box and outside of the Caribbean um, foods, and we're gonna make. I'm gonna make some sliders. I'm gonna make some veggie sliders. Okay, and this is. This consists of uh, a variety of, of vegetables, variety of beans. So we're talking about chickpeas, we're talking about eggplant, we're talking about quinoa, we're talking about bell peppers, we're talking about mushrooms. And we're gonna put all that together to make a patty. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make some, some sliders. And, um, and uh, you guys just let me know how you, um, you like these. Well, you're talking to two vegans here, so you ready? Ready for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> guys so these are my base ingredients mm -hmm. for, the, for this patty that we're about to have yes. um, these, these sliders but so we start off with our chickpeas mm -hmm. okay I, I'm not a lot of people know what chickpeas look like but <laughs> these are chickpeas so some nice portobello mushrooms mm -hmm. uh, we have bell peppers all assorted colors green orange yellow red eggplant and zucchini bygone these are all okay. <laughs> <by> <laughs> so these are all vegetables that are combined 
to make a patty. Okay, okay. A lot of nutrition in all of this. So you're not only getting a bunch of vegetables, you're getting a whole bunch of nutrition behind it. So, you know, as much as you're eating a slider burger, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's still delicious, it's still nutritious. So, you, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh my God, I'm putting all of this meat. So you're gonna put all of this and create a slider. I yes. know, I'm excited. I'm I'm yes. I'm excited to see all of this transform into a slider. I wanna see this. <laughs> I wanna taste this. You understand? Because when they say jerk, yes, vegan slider, yes, I am totally I'm ready. There. Right, I'm let's, there. Let's, let's make it happen, <laughs> let's man. Do it. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, Chris, so what do we have here? Alright, so everything except quinoa on this table is in this. This is this? All of this is this. What? Stop, 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 <laughs> stop, stop. So, chickpeas. Yes. Mushrooms. Yes. Sweet peppers. Yep. Eggplant. Yep. Seasoning. Yep. Zucchini. Yep. With quinoa. With quinoa. Is in here. All of this to make, to make a patty. Wow. Okay. All right. Cool. I believe you. <laughs> all right, all right. You are the architect, so okay, cool, cool, all cool. Right. All right. All right. Let me, let me work some magic. All yeah. right. Make it happen. All right. So this is just the mold. So you just use it as the mold mm -hmm. to make the patties. Yeah. Yo, I know y'all cannot smell, but I know. the aroma from this right here oh my is God. so, so crazy. You know, right it has a meat texture. It's almost like I'm using ground beef. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what the quinoa does. It gives it that texture, that meat texture. So you, 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 you feel like you're not missing anything. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Let's just to get out some of the sides, some of the excess. Okay. I remove that. Okay. Yo, this is like some professional, <laughs> professional, <laughs> original. And then we get it out of the um. Oh. And then we get it out of the um, the uh, the stencil. Okay. okay. And we have a slider. We have a slider. Wow. Yo, I now see why they call him the food architect. <laughs> I now see why, yo. Okay, all right. We're gonna get out of here and let you do your thing because I am hungry. All right. I'm let's, ready let's, to eat. Let's feed you guys. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> For your all for your taste bud. Let's let's hear how this tastes and and um, we go from there. Okay. Yo. All right, guys. Here are your jerk veggie sliders. Give it a shot. Okay. Uh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Yo. You're Cheers. Me? <laughs> yes, I. Here now. Here now. This. Burger is amazing. I have no words. I have no words. Speechless. Speechless. No, eh? I have no words. Yeah, that is a day. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. Love to hear that. Mm -hmm. Love to hear that. Um, mm. you see when you're humming and you're eating, mm. you gain the mm. hmm, the flavors. Mm hmm. The sauces. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. I as, a, as a chef, this is what you live to hear. You want to see this reaction from everything you put together. So this is this is hard work. Very fulfilling to hear this. Thank Yo, you. thank you guys. Without a doubt, you are a food architect, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, thank you, sir. Thank you. There you have it, folks. A delicious, and I mean delicious, <laughs> vegan oh, meal you. made with the essence of the Caribbean. Oh, thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> So yo, Chris, so tell our audience how they could reach you, like all your social media handles and everything. Well, you can reach me at um, on the website, first of all, at no meat eats with a Z, mm -hmm. um, dot com, and um, on IG, it's no meat eats LLC. Okay. On Facebook, no meat eats okay. with a Z. All right, I always cool. remember guys with a Z. <laughs> nice. Eats nice. with a Z. All right, cool, okay. cool. So Chris, here at the Caribbean Network, yes. we never like to come empty-handed. So on behalf of our official sponsor, 
we would like to present you with this gift. Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's a lovely t-shirt. Thank really you. For everyone who's standing. So me, thank you. And um, on behalf of No Meat Eats, we would like to present a 10% discount mm -hmm. um, to your customers. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll decide how long we'll have this running for. Okay. But that's our thanks for having me on your on your show. Okay, and, sounds um, good. Thank you so much. Okay, well, I might use that code, actually. Absolutely, so, absolutely, <laughs> please. I use it. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you have it. You guys get 10% off on nomeateats.com with the code THE CARIBBEAN NETWORK. So guys, on behalf of the Caribbean Network, we would like to thank Chris and No Meat Eats for having us today. Thank you. So I'm Makula. I'm Benzo. And, and we are your hosts host for the, the Caribbean, Caribbean Network. Network. And now, it's time for the Caribbean Word of the Day. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show, the Caribbean Word of the Day. Today's Caribbean Word of the Day is achar or anchar. Okay, okay. You okay. know, we have that debate, achar, anchar. I get yes. because like like certain countries like Guyana, Grenada, Antigua, they say achar, mm -hmm. and I know in Trinidad we say anchar. Yeah. Yeah. So achar or anchar is actually a condiment made of mainly mango, salt, vinegar, pepper, a little bit of mustard oil in there. So it just depends on which island you go to, the the differences you will see. I definitely could do with some anchar right now. You know what though? Maybe I could take some of that achar or anchar. Put, put it, it on the burger. Why is it Caribbean, divide to your life in the Caribbean. Every day I need a slice of the Caribbean.